come in is a 1981 Fidelity CB2000. Now we've already covered the Cybernet 134 chassis, which this radio also utilises. And this is exactly as it's come in. I haven't touched this radio at all. This is straight as it's come in. So I've just switched it on and it's come on on channel 18. And it's uh, now on 20. The meter light's illuminated. I've prepared a microphone already. It hasn't come with a microphone. The customer requires one. So we've just done a new microphone. And I'll just plug it into the radio test set. Start with the into the test equipment, and then we'll plug the extension loudspeaker and the test equipment into the appropriate socket there. Let's see what happens. So I've switched it on. It's a noisy volume control. We'll deal with that. I'm just going to make sure the RF gain and the mic gain are in an appropriate position, and they are. Well, that's a good start because it's receiving the signal generator, but we're going to start on transmit. Let's knock that off. And like we did before, we're going to start with the VCO. And the VCO is... Switch the little meter on. And put the earth prod somewhere sensible. It's resistor 4 is test point 1. We need actually we need channel 40 to do the VCO. So I've just selected channel 40. It should read approximately 4 volts. It's 3.97. That's brilliant. Now I'm going to flick quickly to channel 1. It should be more than 1.8 and it's 2.2. That is absolutely fine. And then in transmit, the same again. Going to transmit and It's just over 4 on channel 40. And flicking back to channel 1, it's in lock. And it's fine. So that's done the VCO with no adjustments whatsoever. But it's always well to check that. Because nothing worse than sending a radio back to the customer for them to tell you it doesn't transmit on channel 37 upwards. So we've done that. Right. So we'll see what kind of power the radio is going to achieve. Is it going to do 4 watts or not? So I've gone into transmit now. I'll switch the other camera on so you can just see that. And 4 watts on this test set is, we're on 30, it's actually reading 6. So that actually needs to come down. 4 would be just there. But we're going to go through all the test points properly and we're going to start with transformer 2. I'll just, just pop that off again so you can see what we're doing. Transformer 2 is that one there. And I'm just peeking that. Yes, that's fine. Transformer 2. Yeah, 3, sorry, is that one. Just peaking that. That's fine. So it's already doing 6 watts, so chances are these are all spot on. And again, yes, that is peaked. We're doing this on channel 20. Check that again. Okay, right, going for the the coils in the can there, we're going to start with L4, which is the first of the drivers. Now, is it the green tool? It is the green tool. And that, yes, is maximum. And then we go for L8. And that is maximum, and then that is L9, and we need to just drop that so that it's 
four, which is going to be the maximum legal there. I'll just flick you back, showing you back that we've actually got that now. So there's the four. We've actually tuned it up, but we've dropped it down, and, and the it is trimmed with L9. If you ever find mm. that you've got more power on channel 1 than you have on channel 40, then it's L8 that requires adjustment. I'll just... Uh, it's that one at the back. L9 is the one there. L8 is that one at the back. And I'm just going to check we've got something like the same power on channel 1 and channel 40. And we have. It's within uh, 0 0.1 of a watt there. So that's absolutely fine. So that's channel 20. Now we're going to go for deviation. If I can just find a little oscillator that we use. I'll switch that on. We're looking for an absolute maximum of 2.5 kilohertz. And that's doing that absolute maximum. And then we'll just give it the quick whistle test to make sure the sensitivity is how we would expect it to be. Switches back onto the left hand oscilloscope. That's actually just slightly over the top, so we'll just knock that down a fraction. And it's RV6 and RV2. I'll switch that back. Just zoom in on these for you. Because you've, you've got mic gain and you've got deviation. And if I remember right, I've got the service in front of service man in front of me, but it's never clear on this. I seem to recall that it's the one that's standing up, which is the deviation, and I understand it's the mic gain, which is. Uh, the one which is um, a horizontal. So I'm just going to use the yellow tool to just adjust that. And just make sure that one's in the right position as well. deviation just backed off a fraction it was just over the top there now then on the RF meter in the 4 watt mode it should read 4 watts ish on the meter let's turn this around so we can see the meter and we'll just zoom out on the camera there now then we're now going to transmit. It's actually over, so it's reading five and a bit. And so, if we just adjust the TX meter, which is RV4, so the two deviation, deviation and mic gain with those two. And so, that one we will just do. And that's now set for four on the meter, so that's now fine. Now, look, these sets have got high-low power in uh, relation to MPT1320. And switching on high-low powers at the back on these particular versions of this Cybernet 134. Switch the test equipment to my low-power setting. And what have I got? Well, we have got 1.1 watt. So we need to just back that off, because it's supposed to be 0 0.4 of a watt. It's the adjustment back there, which is RV5. And we'll just see whether we can back that off. And we can. That's now 0 0.4 on the test set. So that's absolutely fine. And that ends the VCO and the transmitter on this Fidelity 2000, which utilises the very popular at the time, Cybernet PTB M134AOX chassis.